Welcome to Show Me Firearms. So if you guys have been watching the channel for any length of time, you guys will know that I love destruction. Like, I love shooting weird stuff, interesting stuff, to see what happens when it gets annihilated. And that's what we're doing in today's video. We are gonna be shooting these microwaves. Now, these are bigger than your typical microwave you might put on top of your counter. These are the kind that you mount underneath your cabinets in your kitchen. So yeah, we're gonna destroy these because why the heck not? We're gonna shoot this side with bullets and we're gonna see if said bullets can pass through to that side. We're gonna do that first. And then once we've done that, we're just gonna annihilate these in whatever way seems best. So yeah, that's enough talking. Let's shut up and shoot and get some destruction out of our systems. What do you say? Now, if I'm gonna be honest, I do kind of feel like the uh, caliber test to see which ones will go through and which ones won't. It's kind of the boring part of this video. It's kind of one of those things I feel like we have to do it just so we know which calibers will go all the way through those microwaves and which ones will not. So we're just gonna to try to breeze through this. We'll just shoot one round right after the other and then we'll go down range one time, take a look at our hits, see which ones made it through, which ones did not, and then we'll destroy these things. So let's get right to it. 22 long rifle out of the Ruger Mark II. Solid hit. Nine millimeter out of the Ruger Security 9. Another solid hit. What do you know about that? 223 out of the AR 556. And finally, this is going to completely annihilate that sheet metal on that microwave. Double off buckshot out of the Mossberg 500. All right, let's go take a look and see what happened. Okay, here's a look at our impacts. Yeah, so that's clearly uh, the buckshot. And we've got a couple buckshot pellets right there. That is our 22 long rifle. That is our nine millimeter. That is our 22. Three. Let's take a look inside and see what happened. This glass was already broken, so that did not happen just now. Exit holes right there. Looks like they all carried on through that side. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, now we're starting to uh, get some rounds that are actually stopping. So actually nothing made it through that side. We did have one come through right here. Which one would that be? That's pretty low down. The door is about ready to fall off. Let's see if we can figure this out. That would probably be... Okay, that yeah, that was our 223. You can actually see it right here. Look, the 223 was going sideways, punched through the sheet metal right there and then came through and stopped right there. So, nothing came through the backside. But 223 carried on through one, two, three out of four of these walls. Pretty impressive. Okay, so now we've got the boring part out of the way. Let's get to the fun stuff, the destruction. Let's just mag dump every single one of these firearms and just rip those things. What do you say? Nine mil, up next. Two, two, three. I love it. Buckshot first, then a slug. Yeah, I like that a lot. Probably a little too much actually. So dust or smoke or something is pouring out of there, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely mostly from the shotgun. Just blew like a double fist size hole through that. And we shattered our glass plate down there. Exit hole destruction. More entry holes right there. Carrying on into our second microwave. 
Oh yeah, we had some stuff come through. Definitely weakening this sheet metal. Oh, here we go. We had two, probably I would guess two, two, three, came through and one tried right here. Oh, it tried so hard. It almost punched through that sheet metal, but couldn't quite make it. Are there any bullets in here? Probably not. Well, here's a piece of lead. Yeah, that's lead for sure right there. Yeah, so, <laughs> look at this. We had one round that just skimmed right here and just made a huge, huge, almost like incision in that sheet metal. That is pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Well, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? But frankly, I'm not satisfied. I need more. So yeah, we've got five rounds of buckshot in here. We took a couple steps back, hopefully to give that buckshot a little more time to spread out. Hopefully give us more destruction. So let's, let's rip that thing. What do you say? That was dramatic. Thought you'd get away, couldn't you? I love the smell of gunpowder in the afternoon. Yeah, just uh, a little more buckshot there for good measure. Oh, what's this? Well, what do you know? We just so happen to have some slugs that I'm dropping all over the ground because yeah, I'm all thumbs today, apparently. Yeah. This is not going to go well for those microwaves. That's a big hole in that microwave. Shotguns are just so much fun, especially with buckshot and slugs just look at all that destruction oh you want you want you want a close-up you sure well doesn't really matter if you want it or not because you're going to get it anyway yeah these things they're toast total annihilation i would say how did that glass survive on that one actually some glass with plastic so yeah whatever Oh, I love how buckshot just turns sheet metal to Swiss cheese. And look at that gigantic slug entry hole. What do we got back here? Yeah, everything trended down pretty low because of the angle we were at. But yeah, it just completely opened that thing up. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'm satisfied with the destruction we saw today with these microwaves. So yeah, it's definitely a good day to be a gun enthusiast, for sure. So, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the channel. And as always, do not forget, until next time, show me them firearms. What a way to send off a monster mower, am I right? So much freedom!